for watching another nerd stalker interview. Okay, no, I, this is really an interesting conversation, David. I, I really appreciate this. L let's shift the business because I think your story about moving it to be a executive in a billions of billions of dollar corporation called Microsoft to go into this, I, I, I gotta I gotta beg the question. You know, <laughs> what in your right mind uh, made you do this? <laughs> yeah, I, my wife asks the question a lot. <laughs> So, well, I come from a very entrepreneurial family. My, my brother's an entrepreneur. My dad is a small business entrepreneur as well. So I got tired of them telling me, shut up, you work for a boss. <laughs> now, I mean, jo jo jokes, jokes aside, you know, it's, it's, I think there is a fantastic opportunity to build on, 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 on the things that we talked about, right? The, the, the ability to actually convert. Uh, something that people want to wear into something meaningful that can do well and do good, not just to the fitness enthusiast, but also to the elderly patients. Mm. Think about fall detection and prevention as an example, mm. right? So uh, that's why we think that there is a real platform opportunity here um, because there are so many scenarios, not just in sports, but in other human activities that could, could benefit. Uh, the patient could benefit, the consumer could benefit, the clinician or the trusted advisor could benefit and the developers could benefit. So it's, it's a classic win-win-win type of scenario. And quite frankly, we saw the opportunity and we wanted to get, get working on it. Um, and you know, when you work with a, in a large corporation, there is a process to, <laughs> to, to as you know, <laughs> to get stuff done. And we're impatient people. So we just decided we're going to leave and do it. And that's what we did. How, uh, when did you start this company, Dave? When did we start the company? Yeah, yeah. We started the company in early 2011, um, mm -hmm. very quietly, and uh, we quickly, quickly realized that we were uh, ill-suited uh, to bring bring all these parts together. So we had to reach out and, and and hire signal processing engineering resources, electronic engineering resources. My two partners actually come from the Xbox uh, Kinect. Uh, an Xbox Live division, so they knew more more about hardware than I did. But of course, we didn't have enough uh, knowledge about textile and materials, so we had to hire people from, you know, University of Washington and uh, K2 Sports, right? So completely different background, very very thin but very meaningful multidisciplinary team. Um, and it's it's fascinating what people thinking about different things from different angles can actually bring together. So. I mean, because it's it's kind of fascinating when I when I think about your background and um, what you were able to you know, transition from too. But it sounds like your 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 stint as a business person, an executive, product manager, however you want to call it, you know, all those roles <laughs> seem to make you identify risks. I mean, I know I worked in a big company, and as a product manager, man, you know, whenever we were past the CNF phase, you know, the, ma the, the general manager is going to ask me, okay, Greg, well, what's, what's the SWOT analysis on this? Or what's, you know, what, what are we going to do here? You know, what are your risks that you're going to try to have to avert? But, but it sounds like your, your executive experience has helped you out identify gaps, right, in your, in your business, right? It does, but you're, you're never... I mean, you're never prepared to do something that has never been done before, right? So True. every time as a startup, I would just recommend people try to minimize the R in R&D, right? So if you, if you do have an idea and you can actually focus 100% on the D, right, of the R&D, good for you, right? For us, uh, we couldn't do that. Uh, mm -hmm. We totally underestimated the challenge at the beginning. And we said, well, we're going to find the materials that we need. We ended up having to develop our own pressure sensor, right? <laughs> <laughs> because we couldn't find the textile pressure sensor that we could actually wash, as an example, right? So oh, right. Uh, it, you're not, you're, you're never equipped to, you're never equipped to actually solve these problems. Um, but you're going to have those problems if you're trying to do something truly new and innovative. I think. So, yeah. Yeah. How, uh, patience, how big is? Yeah, patience is important. How how, um, how big is your company right now? I mean, is we're about it... 20 people. We're a small, very small company. Wow. But very much like other, you know, startups, we tend to be very, very creative on, you know, outsourcing and leveraging partnerships. So we have, you know, another probably 10 people that work very closely with us, mm, either as vendors great. or 
or partners. That's great. No, I appreciate your time. I, you know, I, I think you know. I want to. You have to get on with the rest of your day, and and I know you're uh, traveling pretty soon, so we'll close the interview out. So, how how can people get to know more about? I mean, get a hold of you, and maybe uh, get to know more about Sensoria. Well, people can send send email to us at info at uh, sensoriainc dot com, and uh, they can find a lot of information on uh, sensoriainc dot com. In terms of developers' information, you can find the SDK information over there. Uh, on the consumer side, our consumer products are under sensoriafitness.com. Mm. So those two websites, uh, will, people will find information. They need no, it. God, this is this is really. Uh, I mean, I, I mean, I appreciate your time because it, it's it, it was just a motivating chat we had just <laughs> for the last half an hour. So <laughs> it was thank fun. You. Thank you, Greg. We appreciate yeah. it. Thank you for your time. Um, okay, well, we'll close off the interview, like I said, and I think, uh, again, um, that was, uh, you know, David uh, Vigano, CEO and co-founder of Sensoria, producing, uh, you know, wearables, advancing or advancing the wearable technology to web world, wearable 2.0, uh, as he talked about earlier. So this is Greg Burry, AKA Social Break on Twitter for the Nerd Soccer Media Network, where we believe in tech, startups, design, and you. Uh, thanks for joining us, everyone, and be careful out there. Thanks again, David. Thanks for your time. Thank you, Greg. Pleasure talking to you.